What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Belt. Today we're going to be turning the new Fort Gen Tacoma into a mobile command station using my trusty Starlink Mini, a new mount from Odin Hardware, which is mountable, rotatable, and lockable, as well as a new solar panel from Pulse Tech. And this is truly going to be a next level, standalone, self-contained, self-powered system for on top the new Tacoma that is just going to be awesome. Stay tuned. This right here is my Harbor Freight Apache rifle case that I did a previous video on converting it into the ultimate recovery box. Well, now I'm going to repurpose it into the ultimate communications box. I guess it can really just do everything. I've had my Starlink Mini for about a year now, and it really has changed the game and how I can stay connected and communicate, also research well into the back country, especially up here in Montana, where it seems like 80% of this state has zero service at all this allows me to stay connected. And my only real complaint about the Mini is the setup. I have to pull it out of my protective case, which this is great, found it off of Amazon, link description below. You have to pull it out, you have to set it someplace, you have to plug it in, wait for it to power up, and it's kind of just a little bit of a pain. And that's where this mount comes in from Odin Hardware, and this thing is next level. Now I'm sure you all have seen that a lot of people are doing 3D printed mounts where you can hook a DeWalt battery to the bottom of a Starlink mount itself or the case. And those are cool. However, you still have to recharge those batteries. It's just not quite as streamlined as what I was looking for. I was looking for something a little bit more renewable, something I didn't have to charge independently or run a cable up to the roof. I wanted something that was just kind of a standalone system. Also, a lot of the mounts didn't allow you to move the Starlink. It was a solid mount, but it was just pointed straight up you couldn't refine that motion by twisting it or angling it. However, what the Odin Hardware one does different is this is not a fixed mount that is just solid. This has a twist to it. You can also articulate it up so you can catch all the angles you're looking for as far as where the satellites are so you can really refine that reception to maximize your speed. It's also lockable. It's got this system here where this latch goes this way, that latch goes this way, and this whole thing lifts up and then this is how you angle it. And then inside here is this knob, you twist this, and then you can twist this entire system so that it articulates. Now, how cool is that? As far as mounting the Odin Starlink Mini mount, there's a ton of different options. You have these high-end rare earth magnets, you have suction cups, which I think they say to not use these specifically um, while you're driving, but they have industrial, or they can get industrial suction cups that will actually use while driving. And then you have your uh, mounts for your racks, like I'm gonna use with this guy here. And then of course you have the lock to lock this up so that it doesn't walk away while you're not at your rig. And of course the second key component to this system is going to be the seven watt indestructible Pulse Tech solar panel. And I really wanted to use something small enough to fit here, but it's also expandable. So if I need to get a second one, I can, but this thing is gonna take quite a beating there on the front of the Tacoma. I mean, it's just gonna get all the wind, all the rocks, all the garbage. So I wanted this to be a really substantial solar panel and this definitely fits the bill. Obviously I pulled the Harbor Freight Apache rifle case off the Tacoma and I put it here on the workbench so that we can kind of get this all laid out. And I think I've kind of come to, this is the way I want it. I'm gonna set the mini here in the Odin mount and I'm gonna put it all the way to the furthest back portion of the case as possible, just to kind of give it that much more space from rock chips and whatnot coming up, trying to keep this looking good as long as possible. In front of that, I'm gonna have the uh, Pulse Tech 7 watt solar panel, and this is gonna mount directly to the case. And this should all be able to flip up on the shocks that I have, because each shock I wanna say is 11 pounds. So that's 22 pounds of up force, which should be plenty to raise this up. If not, I can give it a little assist but this will also allow me to still keep things here in the front part of the case because inside is going to be a lithium ion battery that should fit in there quite nicely as well as all of the wiring and the switches and all that good stuff is all gonna go in there. And the best part about this kit is gonna be completely standalone. There's not gonna be any wiring going down into the truck. It's all gonna be up on the roof and it's gonna be its own thing. So if I ever pull this off, I can take this whole thing right off put onto a different truck and be ready to go. Don't have to wire anything, it's all internal. There's gonna be one switch that's gonna be kind of right here, right outside the driver's door. All I have to do is go up, push the button to turn it on, and it will turn itself on, and yeah, that's pretty much it, and it's just gonna work, hopefully. 
The first thing I'm gonna do is get the Odin Hardware Starlink Mini mount mounted onto the top of the Apache case here. I'm gonna loosen this red screw right here, which allows it to rotate. And then without losing the position, because I actually took quite a bit of time to center this thing kind of where I want it, I'm gonna spin this around so that I can access the holes I wanna access. And all I did was there's these ribs all along the top. So I just kind of centered it in this, I don't know, top quarter of all the ribs and just got it. Um, these are actually gonna be, because it is ribbed, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get this to seal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill all the holes and then go through and just, just put a bunch of silicone in them. That way the water can't get in. Honestly, if the water does get in, it's not that big of a deal. Everything I'm doing is all marine grade. However, I really don't want this to fill with water. So we're gonna try to keep as much out as possible. I'm gonna take my silver Sharpie here and just start kind of marking the holes. That way I can go through and drill them out later. Now to use the factory Odin hardware, I'm going to be using a quarter inch drill bit and just drilling out all the holes I marked. Currently, I only have to put these two wires inside the case and there's actually a pass-through hole here for the Odin mini mount that actually allows the whole thing to kind of rotate with enough slack. So I'm actually gonna drill the hole right through where this factory mount is. And then this wire here is small enough to fit kind of through this little, little divot here underneath. So it should not impact the mounting of this at all. This is a little bit fatter. I don't really need a grommet because again, it's going into plastic. Um, however, I just like to use them and I will eventually swap this grommet out to a waterproof grommet. Um, I forgot to order those. So one more thing, this project has been going on for like weeks now because I keep forgetting or I need one more mount or a USB-C mount instead of a USB mount. So there's just a lot of different components for this. So be sure to check the link in the description below. I'll have everything listed out. That way it'll take all the guesswork out for you. And you can do this in a day instead of three weeks like I had to. I've got the Odin Starlink mini mount all situated where it needs to be with the center hold completely done with the main wire to the solar panel here. That is the largest wire kind of put through at an angle of where I want it to go. And now I'm trying to situate exactly where I want the solar panel and obviously have to take these ribs into consideration, but I think I like it right here. I'm gonna put it kind of in the corners of these ribs and I actually wanna situate this to leave as much open area as possible over here in case I wanna add another solar panel down the road. I have that ability without making more unnecessary holes. I'm using my own hardware. These are M6 flange head stainless steel bolts, big stainless steel lock washers, and then obviously nuts and I have a lock washer here also. I'm gonna go ahead and just install the solar panel. It's just gonna be the easiest thing to install and I'm not gonna use any silicone yet. I'm just gonna kind of mount everything up and then go back later and reinstall all my, you know, split washers and silicone just to make sure everything is super solid and waterproof. Also, this cable I'm using here is actually an aftermarket cable for the Starlink Mini that has a USB-C adapter. Again, link description below but I'm gonna put that through this grommet before I put the grommet in the hole. I've already fed the entire length of the solar panel wire into the case. Before I mount the Odin mount onto the rifle case, I wanna install the Starling just to make the install just a little bit easier. And luckily this is really simple. This whole thing comes pre-assembled just as you see here. It has the one bracket with thumb screws to hold in the top of the Starlink. So it just kind of notches in, tighten down the thumb screws and you're ready to go. Okay, honestly, how cool does this thing look? and it definitely has some weight to it, which really translates into confidence. You know when you put this on your truck, it's not gonna go anywhere. And like I said before, it's lockable. You just slide these apart, you lift it up, nice smooth action, and now it is at a, you can kind of pitch it up to where you want it. You loosen this red screw here, and then it is rotatable, completely 360 with no obstructions. The cable will just spin inside the housing. It's just a really great design. All right, let's get it on the Apache. Now I'm gonna take the cable and this is a USB-C cable. This is aftermarket I got off Amazon. Again, link in the description below, but I'm gonna feed that through this bottom plate here. And I'm happy to report, even with all this weight on the lid, it takes a little bit to get it open. It doesn't just pop right up, but it does stay open. So it does go up. However, I definitely need to get some heavier shocks for this. I think these are uh, 10 or 11 pounds. I'll probably go up to 20, just because even when it's halfway, it wants to slam pretty hard. So have to go up in uh, shock pressure for this application. You also wanna make sure you have enough cable so that this can articulate up and around the way it needs to be. You can see the cable really doesn't extend when you spin it. However, it needs to have a little bit of length to go up. Now this little seven watt Pulse Tech solar panel is not only 
super durable and has got a really small footprint, but it actually is really easy to wire up. It has this plug here that it attaches to this plug here, which goes into its own circuit charge controller. And then this plug here goes into this plug here and this attaches to the battery and that's it, super easy. And I still have a couple more things I have to wire up in this system to make it operational. And the first thing is going to be this switch here. This is a on off to the Starlink that just turns the whole system on and the whole system off. This is the basically the USB port. I could have directly wired the USB right into the power, but I wanted to keep the factory functionality of the USB-C and be able to pull that out and use it someplace else if I decide to. So this is just a real quick um, plug here. It's got the voltage so I can see what the voltage is in the battery on the display here. It's got the USB-C input. And then I just got this simple aluminum bracket that I just repurposed for this. It was for something else and I don't remember why, but I had it. So I just put a big hole in it and that's where this is gonna live. And this is gonna sit right here across from the battery. All the connections I would like to have above kind of the foam, but then all of the wires I'm gonna run under the foam just for a cleaner look and less things to get tangled up. I got everything wired up, hit the button, and it turned on. Can't ask for more than that. Doesn't look great, but all this wiring here will be hidden under the foam. So you're really, all you're gonna see is the battery, the switch here in the front, and then the USB outlet here in the back. And it's just gonna be really a simple setup. And I don't know, let's get the foam in here. Let's get it out in the open air and see if it works. I gave it a quick test in the grass and it worked great. So now it's up on the truck, ready to be used. This was an awesome install. I mean, I just, I really like this idea of not having things kind of hanging off the truck. It's all contained in the one box. I still have three quarters of this box to use for whatever else I'm gonna put in here. Probably put electric tools, not necessarily recovery gear, because I don't want things bashing into that battery if they're sliding around in there. But this thing is totally awesome. Okay, now seriously, what do you guys think? Is this a worthy install? Do you like the idea of everything being self-contained in a standalone unit? Or would you rather I just have mounted the Odin hardware mount onto the Prince Sue rack here and ran a cable to a battery bank or into the cab? That would have been easier, but I personally think this is awesome because it can go on this truck and go on that truck and go on that truck. It's just a all around better solution in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think, comment below. Also, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Best way to support the channel is to buy Adventure Belt merch and I will see you guys next time.